Good morning, I'm Rena Ninen. And I'm Ryan Smith with some of our top stories on this Monday, April 27th. We begin with the intense rescue effort in Nepal. Help is being rushed in from all corners of the globe. The death toll in the 7.8 magnitude quake and aftershocks has now surpassed 3,000. And the streets of Nepal's capital, Kathmandu, are virtually impassable, buried under piles of rubble and bodies. And on the Mount Everest, the scene of a devastating avalanche, helicopters are arriving to rescue hundreds of stranded climbers. Opening statements are set to begin today in the Colorado Movie Theater Massacre Trial. Twelve people died in the mass shooting almost three years ago. Attorneys for James Holmes acknowledge that he was the gunman, but they say he was in a psychotic episode at the time. Prosecutors say he should be facing the death penalty. The trial could take four months or more. And this fiery crash shut down a Los Angeles freeway in both directions. The fuel tanker overturning yesterday and bursting into flames, sending up a thick black smoke seen miles away. The tanker was carrying more than 8,000 gallons of gasoline, and it took about a dozen firefighters about an hour to put out the fire. Fortunately, there were no injuries. A much different scene on the streets of Key West for the city's 32nd bed race. The teams had four people pushing a highly decorated and fully functional bed down the street. One person got, obviously, to ride on each bed. Thousands of people lined the course. The event helped wrap up Key West's yearly 10-day salute to its independence, or so-called independence. In other words, a great excuse for them to party. Fun in the sun. We'll get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Rena Nyan. And I'm Ryan Smith. Thanks for watching.